Vicious Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about the 49ers. They're still in their feelings. Also, why this Rams game just became a must win game. And lastly, I want to talk about this Jake Elliott stat that's just completely insane. But let's get straight into it. All right, so before we get into the topics, I want to talk about this. No, I didn't put it in the title or nothing, but what's trending is that Tyreek Hill says the Chiefs got saved by the ref against the Jets, just like they got saved by the refs in the Super Bowl against the Eagles, which most Eagles fans agree. This is what he quoted. The Chiefs got saved like that last year for real, though against the Eagles in the Super Bowl, if we're being for real. This is Tyreek Hill, he's a Dolphin. He's not associated with the Chiefs anymore. He's definitely not associated with the Eagles, which I I wish he was, but he said, then they come back and get saved by the Jets game, maybe because Taylor Swift was in the building. I don't know what's going on. Hey, whatever Kelsey is doing, I know you're doing it to help out the NFL. Um, I'm going to just leave it at that, you know, take that what you want. I agree with them, but I'm going to leave it at that. We're in a whole new year. The team is undefeated, but, you know, anytime I hear about Chiefs saved by the Super Bowl, it it, it triggers me. But let's get into the next topic. Um, Must win game. This Rams game just became a must win game. Um, I think I thought... Thought what y'all thought during the game last night if you watched it. So the commanders get blown out 40 to 20 after having a dog fight with the Eagles. At first, I start thinking like, dang, is our secondary that bad? Then I'm like, well, you know, we're shaking it up a bit. Everybody wasn't there because the Bears did what we should have done. Just keep blitzing them. And then what they was running a cover two, cover three, the whole game blitz. Cover two, cover three. That's all they did the whole game. You want to bring pressure on Sam Howell. That's how you beat him. To me, when we played them, we gave them too much time at times. Even though we had a decent amount of sacks, but man, the the Bears held up. I ain't gonna lie. The Bears, it felt like they was fighting for their lives. Like it was one of those, like, man, we go 0-5. Justin Fields is out of here. The coach is losing his job. Like that team is decimated, it's done. But the Bears fought and fought and fought and blew those dudes out. Uh, it looked like it was going to be a second half comeback, but Bears shut that down. But Justin Fields looked really, really good. DJ Moore looked really, really, really good. And that commander secondary is terrible. Actually, the commander secondary made me. You know, appreciate my secondary a little more because that's a healthy secondary and they look like that. But back to the topic, I'm going on a tangent. This feel like one of those weeks where almost every team in the NFC East is going to lose. But we got to take advantage of our situation because that could happen for what? This will be the second time if that happened, because I know it was like two weeks ago where the whole NFC East lost and we won. And I think this week that can happen because I believe the 49ers can knock off the Cowboys. Bears surprisingly knocked off the Commanders and the Giants are the Giants. This is the time to start pulling away. Take the NFC East early because they lose two games. The Cowboys, the Giants will uh, be done. And then we'll be up top. Like the Cowboys will what, be two games behind us two games behind us that's really good then we play the jets we have to go we have to go undefeated we have to go undefeated so we could start pulling away start pulling away with the nfc east early and then just start battling for that number one seed because what the 49ers let us handle our food we don't need the cowboys to beat the 49ers and all that no we're going to handle our food but right now, how I want it is 49ers to beat the Cowboys. We pull away with the NFC East, knock off these two opponents because I'm like, man, this 
really became a must win game because you don't want to fall to them then the whole nfc east basically lose and then everything evens out no you want to pull away we have to show we're the best team in this division and then later on as the season go on we're the best team in this conference so again we must win and control the controllables we're gonna handle our food we need to handle our food but if the other teams can knock off this nfc east and handle their food i'll be so happy with that very very happy with that but yes rams game just became a must win game due to that last night game just due to that last night game and i'm starting to side with the fans a bit i think i want a dominant win i think i need a dominant win shoot the bears got a dominant win we need one we definitely need one all right so let's get into the next topic so T.O. man, Terrell Owen, shout out to him. Well, Terrell Owen, shout out to him, man. You know, he got these 49er fans upset, but let me go ahead and play the clip. But what fan base shows you the most love when you're walking around? Is it the Cowboy fans or is it the 49er fans? Uh, honestly, I would probably say the Philly fans. Really? Oh, don't say that, T.O. We got to be for Philadelphia. I'm, I'm being, bro, I'm being dead honest. Yeah. I'm talking about like, Philly, they there's some hard there there there's some hardcore fans. I mean, uh, I think when you think about the personality uh, and, and just the blue collar workers that they are, I remind them of themselves. Um, you know, a guy that that that, that kind of would just put on that that hard hat and just go to work. Um, so I think that's where the mutual love and respect, you know, was when I when I played in Philly. Um, again, like I said, you know, obviously great fan bases in, in Dallas and, and, and San Francisco. But you know me, I have to be honest, man. When I when I I mean it when I when you talk about Philly, oh, those man. fans, bro, they they love me like no. Look, first of all, the radio host didn't even mention the Eagles. He mentioned the Cowboys and the 49ers. See, the Cowboys and the 49ers, they still think they're living in the 90s. <laughs> like this ain't the 90s, man. First of all, he didn't mention us. And then T.O.'s like, oh, hold on, hold on. You you forgot a team, big homie. Now, them Philly fans love me. They love me. He's like, oh, we got a beef. Nah, them Philly fans love me. <clears throat> One thing about the Eagles and us fan base and our fan base, if you're a dog, we're going to love you forever. T.O., yeah, they might say he did things in the locker room, this and that. Rumors here and there. But he was a dog. We love him forever forever because when he was in that midnight green and he played the super bowl what on a broken angle or a broken leg and gave us that type of performance we're going to respect you if you're a dog we're going to respect you now if you suck you're going to hate philly we don't give it a you all you're going to hate philly but when you're a dog I'm gonna love you forever, man. T.O.'s that dude. And T.O. went to the Ops, the Cowboys, and we still love him in Philly. We still got love for him in Philly because what he brought was something different, man. He was something different. But yeah, shout, shout out to T.O. for correcting him. Like, not you or the Cowboys. It's actually them Philly fans that, that love me. Let's get into the next topic, man. The insane stat. Jake Elliott right now has more points than the giants total offense total defense total team he got more points than them 48 to 46. jake elliott is having one hell of a year but the giants should be ashamed the giants should be a shame of themselves giants suck man giants are trash and this season it's their reality check they came into the season. Daniel Jones is the best quarterback in the NFC East. And Daniel Jones going to take the lead by storm. Watch this. I'm like, no, it's not Daniel Jones. It's Saquon Barkley. Even the game they came back against the Cardinals, it was Saqu Saquon Barkley start turning it up. And what do they say? Saquon Barkley get a high ankle sprain. They cannot win the game. The offense cannot function. Uh, Daniel Jones, they talk about our quarterback can't read. That dude cannot read at all. He's not even a one read quarterback. He's a zero read quarterback. He can't read at all. And 
they stuck with that contract. I said they got to pull the Carson Wentz. They better pull the Carson Wentz. Like, look, I know we just signed you. Maybe another team think they could get some out of them. And they go for Caleb Williams, man. They look like the worst team in the NFL. Bears, at least the past two weeks, show signs and got a win. This team, the Giants, look like the worst team. And what, they got the Dolphins? 80 to 0. Mm -mm. 80 to 0. We're going to see the worst blowout in NFL history. Because I, I don't, I simply don't know how they keep up with the Dolphins. I don't. They don't have an offense. Their defense is trash. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do. But shout out to Jake Elliott, man. Got more points than the whole team. But hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? Eagles must win. Also, T.O. putting the 49ers fans like on blast nah it's them, it's them philly fans and jake elliott insane stat but this is eagle owl man i'm a